fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Continental Railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the President to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! The danger on the trail ahead! Well, Silver! Power! Out beyond the grading crews and the end of the track, out where the Central Railroad would someday bring commerce and fast transportation to the Western Territory, a detachment of cavalry halted at the sound of a bugle. The men formed a hollow square and stood on guard, wind snapping the regimental pennant and carbines held ready for use. The captain wheeled and galloped to the center where two riders sat their horses. My compliments, Colonel Parkman. This is the spot. Thank you, Captain. We have a clear view of the valley from this rim. Let's keep your men on the alert. Yes, sir. We're miles out from the railroad. There might be Indians or outlaws on the prowl. Someday the railroad will be here, Captain. Yes, sir. Let me take your position. Travis and I can discuss the engineering situation. Dismissed. Come on, boy. Well, Travis, you're an engineer. What do you think of it? Colonel Parkman, I still have the same opinion. I don't believe we can put tracks across that valley. Why not? Because of the slopes on the east and west. They're too steep for trains, sir. Well, the cliffs can be blasted out to make easier grades, Travis. Well, it's a difficult job, sir. I still say it'd be safer to go the long way around. To circle clear up north around the upper end of the valley and bridge the river above the waterfall. It's 150 miles that way, Travis. Straight across the valley is only 20 miles. Well, that's true, but... That's 130 extra miles. Travis, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were in cahoots with the Iron Spur. Colonel Parkman... Well, what else? The Iron Spur are outlaws, true enough. But they're trying to slow up the building of the railroad. And your suggestion certainly seems to be doing the same. An extra 130 miles. That means an extra two weeks. This track must be laid on schedule, Travis. If it isn't, the government withdraws its support. Oh, I know, sir, but... What, more objections? Well, Colonel, I know we made this trip out here under difficulties, but... Difficulties? That's a mild term. It's been a long march. A dangerous one in the wild country. But if my engineers persist in bringing back reports like yours, then I have to come out and see for myself. Going around that valley's impossible, Travis. Impossible. And cutting through the valley would be fatal. Hmm? That waterfall, sir. What about the waterfall? It's very dangerous, sir. Dangerous? Why... <laughs> only a trickle. The stream below can be bridged with one span. It's a trickle a day, Colonel, but any day it might be a raging torrent covering the whole floor of the valley. What's that? That stream comes down from the hills, sir. It's tricky. There are cloud bursts in those hills and snow. This valley gets flash floods and spring freshets. Look right below us, Colonel. 
You can see where the high water mark of the last one was. Yes, quite high. That's why we've got to go the long way around, sir. Travis, I'm afraid you're right. But we can't. Colonel Parkman, two riders approaching at the gallop. Yes, I see them. Bring them to me under guard. One of them is masked. So I know this. The other's an Indian. Captain, they must be outlaws. This may be a trap. There are only two of them, sir. There may be dozens more behind the hill. Don't waste time. Shoot them down in their That's tracks. That's enough, Travis. I'm in command here. Let them come, Captain. When they arrive, bring them to me at once. Detail, halt! Well, sir, what do you and the Indian want? Why are you masked? Here's a letter, Colonel. He will explain us. From your secretary. Miss Barkley? Yes, Colonel. Colonel, I tell you, these men are outlaws. Why should an honest man wear a mask and travel... That's enough, Travis. I'm satisfied. But, Colonel, whatever that letter says... This letter's addressed to me, Travis. Whatever it says is my business. And I'm satisfied that these two men are our friends. Dismissed, Captain. Yes, sir. Detail. Return to posts. Cut. Colonel, Tonto and I have just come from the upper end of the valley above the falls. You're uh, putting the railroad straight through, aren't you? That's impossible. There's flood water most of the time. Yes, masked man, and Frey Travis is right. But Colonel, the Central takes all the time necessary to go the long way around. You'll get behind schedule. You'll never make it up. Mister, are you an engineer? How do I know this country, Colonel Parkman? You can go across this valley. How? Fly like the birds? I tell just you... Just a minute, Travis. What makes you so certain, mister? Colonel, above the valley, the stream runs through a narrow canyon. The ground itself slopes off westward. All you need to do is build a dam across the canyon, and when the water rises, it'll flow off to the west. Ah, as long as dam stands, valley not get flooded. Is this true, Travis? Well, I... I'm sorry, Colonel. I haven't been up that way myself. You haven't? You call yourself an engine? Never mind. A masked man, the railroad's grateful to you and the Indian. Captain! Yes, sir? We're looking over the north end of the valley. I want to look at the terrain. The troop will accompany us. Yes, sir. Come on, boy. Mister, if that stream can be dammed, and the railroad goes straight through. If that's the case, we'll return with all speed to the end of track. We'll send out special crews to build the dam and cut the grade. So everything will be ready when the track crews get here. You will accompany me, Travis. Yes, Colonel. Thank you, masked man. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Get up there. Adios. Get away. Column of fours. Marching order. <laughs> Soldiers ride plenty good, huh? Toto, I'm wondering. What matter? This man, Travis, something about him. I wonder whether he's really loyal to the railroad. Coster, don't shoot, it's Travis. Oh, have to be careful. In the dark, you never know. Well, I did my best, Custer. The railroad is going straight across the valley. What's that? Now easy. Easy? Why, you have a little coyote. The Arch Spurs been give you plenty of cash. In your job as engineer with the Central Railroad, you're in a fine spot to help us smash it. You fall down on the job. It wasn't my fault. I did the best I could. Yeah. Absolutely, Custer. Why, I had the colonel convinced that it would be suicide to go straight across the valley. You told him about the floods, huh? Of course. Even though the colonel was dead set against the delay that would be caused by going the long way around, he agreed with me finally. And then... Then what? A mask, hombre, Custer. A masked man is Indian partner. Masked man? It... Masked? Riding the white horse? That's the one. A little ranger. Well, I tried to tell the colonel they were a couple of outlaws. The soldiers ought to shoot them down, Never but... Never mind that. Get to the point. Well, the masked man told Colonel Parkman that a dam could be built above the valley. Colonel Parkman went to, to have a look. And... and it's settled. The dam is going to be built. You knew about that possibility all the time. Sure I did, but I wasn't mentioning it. Why didn't you talk against it then when the colonel was up there? You were an engineer. You could have argued. Don't be loco, Custer. The colonel has already given me a dressing down. Uh, but Besides, you... the colonel's an engineer himself. As soon as he saw the canyon and the stream, he knew a dam could be do the work. If I'd argued, I'd have lost my job. Yeah. I reckon you was wise to put your lip. At least you're still in a good spot to help the iron spur. Have you got a plan? We're not giving up, if that's what you mean. When are they going to start working the dam? Another engineer and I are starting out with a party of workmen from end of track. We leave tomorrow at dawn. What's the name of the other engineer? Borden. Ted Borden. Can he be bribed? Not a chance. Uh, how many workmen? About 40, all told. Any army men for escort? Cavalry. Two dozen. That's 60 yard all told. Kino. The men will carry guns, Costa. Don't worry. The iceberg can get 100 men, all gunfighters. 
You get on your horse, Travis. Get back to the end of track. You have a plan, Custer? Don't worry. Start out in the morning with a railroad outfit. Get out there and do the job. Start right in. The Iron Spur will be out that way, too. You'll be hearing from us. Adios. Howdy, Travis. Well, I reckon we're all set to start out. Everything ready, Borden? Yep. Men are all assembled. The wagons have got every piece of equipment packed away. Blasting powder? Two full wagons. Those two at the tail end with the red flags. And the detail of soldiers. It's a long trip out there, Borden. Bad country we travel through. The detail is all present, Mr. Travis. Oh, hello, Captain. Yes, sir. We'll have ten men as advance guard, five men rear guard, and the rest will ride point along the wagon train. Good. Should take us about a week to reach the valley. Right, Borden? Reckon so. And we can start any time. Yes, sir. I'll be with the advance detail. Get up, boy. There's sure a crowd to see us off. Yeah. Tell the wagoners to keep a tight rein on the horses. I wouldn't want anything to happen to that blasting powder. Yeah, sure thing. All right, men. Ready to ride. Pile in them wagons. Keep a tight rein on your horses. You riding with me, Borden? I'll be glad to, Travis. Steady, boy. Get along, boy. Adios, everybody. Adios, Colonel Parkman. We'll have that valley all ready when the grading crew comes along. All right, you wagoners, start them off. All Here. right, Captain, we're traveling. Well, we'll be there in another day, Travis. We can start work the day after. Yeah. Been a mighty peaceful ride. Trouble at all, not a thing. Travis. What's the matter, Borden? Nothing, not now. Well, I caught a glimpse of two yeah. riders near those cottonwoods. Like they was trailing us. Trailing us? What they look like? You think they might be the the Iron Spur? I know, I don't know who they are. One of them wore a mask. Here, Scout. Wait for us, Silver. King is hobby. They still work at night, huh? Night and day, Tato. The dam must be built in a hurry. Ah. Yes, sir. We separate King of Sabi. You circle east. Try to locate Travis and keep an eye on him. Ah. You go talk to Borden? Yes. That's his tent directly ahead. And you talk good. Adios, King of Sabi. Adios. <laughs> Fast steps and I'll be inside. Who is it? Oh, raise an alarm, Borden. I just want to talk with you. Oh. I'm a friend of... Borden. Borden, what's happened to you? Wounded. I'm hurt. Hour ago. Explosion. Covered sound of the shot. It was Travis. Travis. Yeah, he came in. Borden. Borden, are you all right? Your hands, Mr. Travis. Come on, Captain. Don't reach for your guns, mess man. So you shot Borden, did you? Captain, there's some mistake. Yes, there is, and you made it, mister. I told Colonel Parkman you were an outlaw. He wouldn't believe me, but now this proves it. I saw you coming to this tent half an hour ago. I just got here. Captain, Borden's been wounded, badly hurt. But he told me it was Travis who shot him. <laughs> well, that's a fine story. It's the truth. Captain, ask Borden yourself. I will. Don't move. Borden, who shot you? Was it that... What are you trying to pull around here, mister? Borden can't talk. He's unconscious. Unconscious? Borden. Borden. Travis, if he dies... If Borden dies, mask man, you will hang for it. I'm sorry, mister. Colonel Parkman said you were all right. But I've got to believe the evidence of my eyes. I'm placing you under arrest, mask man. Hand over your guns. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger was arrested by the Army captain, who believed he had shot and badly wounded Ted Borden. Two hours later, the masked man was in a tent guarded by four soldiers. And at that same time, several miles north of the encampment... So everything worked out, Jim Daddy, huh, Travis? Couldn't have been better, Custer. After I shot Borden, I stayed close by. Just by mere chance, I saw the masked man slip into Borden's tent. I got the captain. My man will hang. He's under guard right now. Borden can't live, can he? He's pretty bad off. Better not live, Travis. If he does, it means you'll finish. Perhaps. Perhaps another. Borden was facing you when you shot him, wasn't he? Yes, he knows I gunned him down, Custer. But I'll make dead certain he doesn't live, Savvy. Uh, get it all figured, then. Huh? That's right. Who's caring for him? A couple of the workers. There's no real doctor. And one of these nights, I'll be able to complete the job. Well, Travis, sounds like you've got your time all picked, haven't you? That's right. Ties in with our scheme to wreck the dam. Yeah? Yeah. I've had time to think it over, Custer. See what you think of this. I'm listening. You got two dozen men camped out here, and the railroad crew knows nothing about it, right? You know, we made sure our tracks are covered. You aim to blow up the dam night after next, isn't that so? Yeah, what is rising up on the hills. It ought to hit the dam about then. If we blow up the dam just before the water floods, it'll pour into the valley full force. With well, the encampment right in the path of the flood. That's our idea. Well, I'm adding to it, Custer. Oh. Uh, yes, how? There'll be men at the dam, right? Yeah, they may give us a fight. But I they... can fix it so they won't be there to fight the iron spur off at all. That uh, sounds interesting. Custer, suppose some of the tents caught on fire just before you got to the dam. Uh, Those men at the dam would leave, head for the camp to put out the fire. Say, that's so. Before they got back, we could plant the blasting powder. And huh? set it off. Now that's real slick, Travis. When the flood pours down, we'll get rid of the masked men and probably take a few of the railroad men, too. Yeah, yeah, that's standard. Wait a second. What about Borden? Suppose we get him to high ground. <laughs> No sense carrying a dead man to safety, Custer. Dead? I don't savvy. He's only wounded. He'll be dead. How can you be sure? Because I'll make sure. Myself. you shoot him? Yeah. It'll be twice as risky as before. Oh, no, it won't. Because when I start the fire, everybody will be running around like skinned wolves. Even the men caring for Borden will be running. I can slip into the tent and finish him pronto, Custer. It'll be as easy as slipping a cinch. <laughs> here, here, boy. Yep. The night after tomorrow. Adios, Travis. We'll be watching for the flames. That'll be our sign to blow up the dam. Huh? Yeah. Adios, Custer. Get up, boy. Come on, get up. Yes, sir. Hello, masked man. How are you? Hello, Captain. I want to thank you for letting me stay masked. It's the least I could do, mister. I remember that Colonel Parkman vouched for you. I've sent a courier back to end of track with news that Travis demanded your arrest. I'll do nothing further until I hear from Parkman. Well, how is Ted Borden? Is he still unconscious? Yes, it's touch and go. He may pull out of it, but... Oh, I understand. You uh, still insist Travis shot him? Borden told me himself. You understand my position in this? Yes, of course. Your details attached to this railroad crew. Actually, you're supposed to take orders from Travis. That's the difficulty, mister. Well, I'm certain I got fair dealing from you. The Army never deals any other way. And uh, what about the dam? Is it finished? I understand it'll be completed in another 24 hours. The men are working day and night. Good. The railroad must go through. Our country needs it. Mister, I... <laughs> I'll swear I can't figure you out. You carry two guns, you're masked... I should take you for an outlaw, and yet... Well, sir, somehow I trust you more than I trust Travis. Oh! Who goes there? Put that gun aside. It's me. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Masked man, it's Travis. Yes, I see. Hello, Captain. Are you questioning the prisoner? Hello, Mr. Travis. Hmm. You uh, haven't been talking about me, have you? I've been doing my duty, sir. You've been away from the encampment? That's my business, Captain. You stick to the Army. Understand? Yes, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have some work to attend to. Well, masked man, I reckon you'd better start counting the hours. You won't live long. If Borden lives, you'll be lucky, Travis. That's the only way you can escape the hangman's rope. Why, you... You shot Borden. We both know it. Soon it'll be proved. You can't talk... <laughs> Kino, masked man, maybe so. Maybe you're right. I can say that with no one else listening. But, Savvy, this. 
Whoever shot Borden, it's you that'll pay for it. Think that over. And think fast, because you won't have much time to think. <laughs> hmm. Now, what did he mean by that? Bird call. It's Tonto. Yes, it's Tonto. I see him creeping through the grass. Kimasabi! Yes, Tonto. Go ahead. I'm standing so the guards won't see you. Your hand's tied. That's all right. You, uh, you know what happened to me? Oh, huh? me here. Me set you free. No, not now, Tonto. What have you got to tell me? Did you uh, watch Travis? Ah, uh, him leave tent. Tonto follow. Him eat Coster. Iron spur outlaw. You listen. Tonto tell you what they plan to do. Listen. Now that's their scheme. The night after tomorrow. Good work, Tonto. Ah. Planning to start a fire, blow up the dam, and kill Borden all at once. Well, it's a big night's work. It's up to us to stop them. Tonto see Silver. Him and Corel back at camp. Good. Now you go, Kimosabe. Stay out of sight. The day after tomorrow, just after sundown, you come back here. Be careful of the guards. Whoa, whoa there, whoa, boy, whoa. Well, Captain, I've just come from the dam. It's all finished. Fine job. So I understand, Mr. Travis. We can break up camp any time you say. Well, I don't think it's smart to move Borden yet, do you? Perhaps not. He, uh, he should regain consciousness tomorrow, though. What's that? I've seen men in his condition before, Mr. Travis. That's my guess. Oh, I see. The, uh, masked man is still a prisoner? Yes, yeah, still under guard. Oh, by the way, Captain. Yes, sir? You sent a messenger to the end of track, didn't you? Has he gotten back yet? No, sir. You're not very polite, Captain. Somehow I get the feeling that you don't like me. That's beside the point, Mr. Travis. I'm under your orders. All I can do is obey them. Then why didn't you shoot that masked hombre at once? Without a trial? That was the order I gave you. I'm sorry, Mr. Travis, but that's one order I must ignore. This country has a constitution, a bill of rights. Every man has a right to a fair trial. And the masked man will get a fair trial. That's why we're waiting for Borden to get better. This is insubordination, Captain. I'll report it when we get back to the end of track. That's your privilege, sir. Right hey, now. What place? It's over this way. I'll get in the way. Hey, blow up. Oh, Silver. Get him up, Corporal. Corporal, what is it? Look down, the Captain. All your fire, it's no use. I'll see that you lose your right for this, Captain. The masked man has escaped. Silver, go plenty fast. Nobody on trail now. You must have it's getting late. We're free, but they're still boarding from the encampment and the dam across the canyon. And um, they're Travis, too. Him still in camp. We have a lot of work to do. Swing this way, Kimosabe. Now, uh, we turn around. Yes, Tonto. We're heading back for the camp again. That plenty bad. They see you first. They shoot. I've got to talk to the captain. You go to the tent where Borden is lying. No matter what happens, stay there till I come. Be savvy only. Only what? Coster and Tadman up near Tam. They wait for signal from Travis. Fire signal. What happened if Travis can't fire before we catch him, huh? Master Tonto, that must never happen. Come on, Silver! You'll not move, Scout. Be right behind tent. You'll not make sound. Water. Band. Where mask friend? Him take heap long time to talk to Captain. What's that? Roast out! Roast out, everybody! Fire in the south corner! Never mind, Borden. He'll be all right. Come on, we got to form a bucket brigade! Fire! Travis, start fire. You stay here, Scout. Tonto, go in tent. Everything go wrong. Fire start already. But maybe Tonto get wounded man to safe ground by fire. That's enough, Injun. Stand up and lift your hands high. Travis! Don't turn around. I'm going to finish boarding right now. Everybody's fighting the flames. And I'm going to put a bullet in you, too. Right this very minute in... Oh! We got here in time, Captain. Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto. We followed Travis over here. Well, Travis didn't set that fire. After I talked to the mayor's man, I had a bonfire started. You hombres think you're all fired smart, don't you? I was going to set a fire, but I saw that one blaze up. I figured an accidental fire was as good as any other, that so fire's I... fire's out already, Travis. Kimasabi, the iron spur. What's that? Kimasabi, you forget. Fire was signaled to Iron Spur to go to Dam. Pretty soon they blow up Dam. Not if we get there first, Tonto. It's going to be a close race. 
The soldiers are ready, aren't they, Captain? Here they come now, masked man. And every railroad worker can sit in the saddle with them. Coverall. Yes, sir. Place Travis under arrest. Yes, sir. Come on, Tuttle. Here's Silver. It's gone. All ready, Captain. Come on, Silver. Get up. Men, follow the masked rider. Load your guns. Up the valley. Head for the canyon. Come on, Silver. Get there. Come on, there. Yeah, Coster. There it is, clear in the moonlight. Not a soul around. Sure not. They all run to put out the fire in the valley. He no chance rain up. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Finley, Jurgis, get the blasting powder. Get a move on. Careful. Don't drop it. We'll hang it over the side of the dam and use a long fuse. It'll give us just time enough to get away. And, uh, what did thunder? Did you just hear anything? Yeah, it sounded like maybe. It's the army. It's a masked man. Grab your guns. Shoot it out. Get to your horses. Drive it down! Don't give them a chance! Big and Coster! This way, Silver! No, you don't! Oh, my hand! Coster! Coster, it's no use! Get out of your guns! We've got you surrounded! Silver, get me alive! Huh? Oh! Not enough! Do you want more? Oh, don't shoot! Don't shoot! You got us! Look at the face fire! Oh, my hand! Nice yes, man, fire it at me and then... You're not hurt. You knock the guns out of your hand. Costa, you and all your men are captured. Oh, Travis, somebody tricked us. He... Travis is under arrest, too, back in the camp. Borden's still alive. He'll testify against him. As for you, we need no further evidence than we already have. You're all going to jail. That masked man, if it hadn't been for him, and he... he's gone. Yes, Coster. And if it hadn't been for him, the building of the railroad would have been delayed. The railroad owes him a vote of thanks. So does our country. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.